Hi, it's your boy Shao King and I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you a working strategy that has to do with the Fibonacci retracement tool, moving average indicator and executing trades on lower time frames only. You can only trade from the 15 minute downwards, okay? So let's do it. So for the configurations, we're going to start with the Fibonacci retracement tool. So all you have to do if you're on Android, you click until you see a, a circle on your screen. This is the settings and it will give you options to choose the time frames and so on. So what we're looking for is the forms uh, icon where you see the rectangular and the circle and the square. You click on it. Once you're here, you click on add object on the plus icon and once you're on add object you scroll down until you find the Fibonacci retracement tool and then you click on it once you click on it you drag click it on the chart anywhere and then drag it up once you see the three little dots on the Fibonacci retracement tool this means that your Fibonacci retracement tool is activated now what you have to do is hold and click okay so you hold it until you see the pencil icon on the top which means edit click on the edit and then you have your parameters for the fibonacci retracement tool our main focus here will be the levels of the fibonacci okay so you don't touch anything else you go all the way down to the levels click on the pencil icon and make sure that you delete everything for example all right if you find it and then you start over so first thing you're going to do is the fibonacci level will be zero zero will be your tp so zero will be tp1 and then the next fibonacci level so you can give it the color that you want i will use gray the next fibonacci level that you're going to add is okay 50 percent so it's 0 0.5 and then the description will be weight and then you add the next one which is 0.62 okay this will be entry so you just write e or entry it's okay entry one and then uh, the next level you're going to add will be 0 0.79 all right so 0 0.79 this is entry two and then the last level is 0 0.93 entries is the last level and you add the 100% level which is one and then this will be your 1% will be your TP target one sorry and then this one will be your stop loss okay so this will be stop loss stop loss this is TP one okay and then you add another one which will be minus minus one tp2 okay minus one is tp2 you add a minus two which will be tp3 and then you just make sure that once this is all set and done the colors are good to go you click on back and then make sure to click on the save icon because if you don't it's gonna go back to, to normal so you click on the save icon and then you see my fibonacci is edited according to everything that i've just inserted right there now what you want to do is to move on to the next step which is to edit your moving averages okay let's go for the next step we are going to remove the Fibonacci from here okay and then once again we click on the circle icon on the Android phone and then you click on the forms option it's the same for iPhone you just have to find the forms option which will be on the top hand side of your screen so you click on the forms and then you see that this is uh, the object section you click on the plus icon and then you just find Fibonacci but now we want to add an indicator so what we do is you click on the screen again where you see this crossed line you click on it and then you can add indicators 
So we're going to add it to the main chart. Just click on the plus icon next to this F symbol. And then you go to, you scroll all the way down until you find moving average, okay? So moving average is actually up here. So click on moving average is the fifth option. So click on it. And then what you want to add for the first parameter is exactly what you see here. So it's 200. For the period, the shift is zero. The method we are going to use is for application is simple. We are going to apply to close. Okay, and then it's going to be three pixels. The color you can choose according to your liking. And then you click save. Once you save it, you go to the chart, for example, and then you scroll down and then you'll be able to see that your 200 moving average is there. Now, let's make sure that we are under one minute for this. So once you're under one minute, okay, you can clearly visualize that the line is close, okay, for scalping. Uh, we go back to the F indicator, add indicator option, click on the F again, add another moving average make sure that here you just change the, the number to 50 the period the shift remains zero method simple apply to close and then the pixels you can reduce it to one percent and then the color we can maybe say white and we make sure that we save it as well and then go on the screen all right so now let's go to the next step which is trade execution